Welcome students. We're going to take some notes on the Clinton years and the 90s. Let's begin. Uh, a political cartoon right here uh, that in uh, 1996 his uh, Clinton's second election that he was going to uh, adopt uh, Republican issues um, in his first term as president he was a little bit more progressive but in his second term as president he would be a little bit more conservative all right so the clinton years important policies to note is the don't ask don't tell uh, the don't ask don't tell policy was um, to allow homosexuals into the military as long as they didn't um, share uh, that they were homosexual. And uh, there's many who see this as a positive policy, um, but there's been controversy over it because um, all people like to share uh, in the workforce uh, what is personal to them. So to allow people into the military, but not to let them share personally about themselves, um, many see as uh, destructive. Uh, also, he would pass the Defense of Marriage Act, Act, which federally defined marriage between one man and one woman. That has been overturned by the Supreme Court in 2015. And so both of these policies that were anti-homosexual, uh, Clinton did sign into law. Also, the Brady Bill, bill uh, stated that there must be a five-day waiting period for hunting guns, federal background checks, uh, so this Brady Bill uh, was passed to um, ensure that people uh, were getting background checks uh, before they purchased a gun to make sure that they um, were not going to abuse that gun or were a criminal or had um, psychiatric problems. Uh, also, National Health Care Plan, uh, he tried and it failed. It was uh, Hillary's, um, Hillary Clinton's uh, brainchild. Um, that she was really working on that national health care plan. Uh, and it wasn't until Barack Obama that it finally got passed. And if uh, Hillary Clinton would have been elected instead of Barack Obama in 2008, it would have been her um, health care plan. So Hillary Clinton has done a lot of things behind the scenes, but she's never been president and never actually been the one to pass her own health care plan. Uh, also, medical uh, Family Medical Leave Act, which guaranteed 12 weeks of leave for uh, females who have had a baby, uh, you don't need to necessarily write that one down. It won't be on the test, but uh, that's there as well. Also, 1996 Welfare Reform Bill, uh, known as Workfare. Uh, that one will be on the test as well. Um, so that um, uh, welfare is um, helping out those who uh, are in need of a little extra financial help that are poor. And so um, he would focus on that as well. He also increases the minimum wage uh, to $5.15 an hour. I know that doesn't look like a lot because the minimum wage, I believe, is around $15 an hour, at least in California. And so, um, but that was big back then. Uh, it's the economy stupid. So the economy was very important to Clinton's presidency. When he was asked while running for the presidency in 1992 what the biggest question was um, to his campaign, he said it's the economy stupid. Kind of jokingly, but uh, the economy would be uh, what he's known for. As you can see with this deficit spending versus surplus, uh, Bill Clinton really was able to uh, reverse uh, the uh, deficits uh, that we had. We would still have the uh, debt, the federal debt, uh, but he is not spending more than he is collecting in revenue, as we've talked before, debt versus um, revenue. So he increases taxes on the wealthy and he cuts spending. Um, that's really how he's able to do that. Uh, now he does face a shutdown, an economy shutdown, uh, because of this, but he's able to blame the Republicans in Congress instead of taking the blame himself, so it actually helps him. The main thing that you need to write down, though, is that the Clinton economy would be low inflation and low unemployment. Eventually balance the budget, several years of surpluses. 
So uh, the Clinton economy uh, would be very important to his presidency. It's important to know those three items there for the test. There was low uh, inflation, which means that uh, our money was strong. Um, it wasn't a, uh, a weak uh, dollar. Uh, the um, If you wanted to buy a house, the the uh, interest rate was uh, was pretty low at this time, um, which allows inflation to be low. Uh, in the elections, Republicans fought for Congress. Newt Gingrich's contract with America uh, was successful. And so Newt Gingrich was the Speaker of the House in Congress, a Republican, and he was able to um, really... Um, fight back against uh, the Democrat um, Bill Clinton. Uh, the main effect, re Republicans took Congress back. Um, that's, uh, that's the big uh, focus here. Republicans fought for Congress and they would take it back and Newt Gingrich uh, would become Speaker of the House with his contract with America. Uh, attacked big government, emphasized patriotism, family values. Cl Clinton won re-election. Um, with uh, quite a big margin there, as you can see, um, against uh, Republican Dole. Clinton foreign policy, uh, the big thing that you need to know is that after the Cold War, foreign policy is pretty undefined, uh, tends to focus on human rights. So human rights is the key. Uh, in Somalia, uh, there will be a Operation Restore Hope to deliver food. Uh, remember that Operation Restore Hope was a Somalian uh, action um, back during Bush's presidency. Uh, but during uh, Clinton's presidency, we will have an incident uh, that is recorded in the film Black, Black Hawk Down. If you haven't seen that film, it's, a, it's one of the best war movies to see, uh, where 18 U.S. soldiers will be killed uh, in the streets of Somalia. And these are not just... Um, your average uh, army soldiers. These are special forces. So uh, this is a pretty big um, catastrophe that happened. Uh, Rwanda, there's also going to be a genocide, ethnic cleansing. Another good film um, is Hotel Rwanda. If you would like more information on genocide and ethnic cleansings in uh, Africa, sad film, but a uh, but good um Good film as well. Former Yugoslavia will also have genocide and ethnic cleansing. Bosnia, Kosovo, Serbia. So you're going to have um, some ethnic cleansings that happen where uh, certain ethnicities are killing off other ethnicities in those regions. So you have some um, really big human rights issues happening during Clinton's presidency. Uh, now, Clinton's scandal is going to really define his presidency. Um, it's the biggest thing that people remember him for. Uh, Clinton positively is known for the economy, but negatively is known as his, for his scandal. Um, it's not just the Monica Lewinsky affair, though that's the biggest one. Um, it's other scandals as well, uh, which Hillary Clinton is still uh, involved in um, uh, congressional hearings and scandals even till this day. Clinton experienced widespread scandals during his presidency, shady real estate deals uh, known as Whitewater Investigation. So um, there were lawsuits uh, with that. All you would, also, you would have the Paula Jones sexual harassment suit while Clinton was governor of Arkansas. Uh, he had Paula Jones working for him, and uh, her as well as three other females would file suit for sexual harassment um, that uh, President Clinton had. Uh, my Kowinski affair uh, led to his impeachment. Um, he was never removed from office, keep in mind, uh, but he was impeached. To be removed from office, you need the Senate to remove you, uh, but to be impeached, Congress uh, simply votes to impeach you. Uh, that has been done three times, but we have not removed a president from office. Johnson in the 1800s, you also had uh, Bill Clinton and most recently Donald Trump have all been impeached. Uh, all of them were for political reasons. Um, you know, there's always a uh, initial reason they try to get you for, but it's really all about politics. 
And for Bill Clinton, he lied under oath when he was asked if he had sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky, and that's really what they got him for. As you can see right here, the impeachment presidency. Impeachment means Congress can vote uh, voted to lay criminal charges against the president. That's a pretty big deal. However, that's not removal. Clinton was not impeached for abuse of his position or sexual misconduct, though he could have been. Uh, it was mainly perjury, which is lying under oath, and obstruction of justice. The public questioned legitimacy of impeachment charges, uh, mainly because they saw Clinton as a very positive president. However, um, this uh, lying under oath and such, um, it was kind of a marginal issue, but uh, it technically was an issue, and so they would um, file impeachment charges against him. So as you can see right here, um, approval rating uh, quite high uh, during his presidency. Uh, another political cartoon about uh, scandals. I'm blaming other people. Uh, his good economy uh, would definitely uh, protect uh, him as president. So he's also known as kind of a Teflon type president because even though um, he would have um, misdeeds uh, uh, thrown at him, uh, charged at him, his economy would be uh, what repels those charges. Um, so I did want to uh, switch to um, some issues in the 1990s uh, that happened. A lot of pop culture from the 1990s. Uh, there's been a um, come back of a lot of these programs um, that uh, really capture 90s culture. I don't want you to uh, write all the um, information about the 90s, but the main headlines would be good. So the first thing that I want you to write down is Rodney King incident and riots in 1992. You don't need to write down um, all the different things that happened, uh, but just write down the title. Uh, King was driving drunk, tried to outrun police, King uh, resisted arrest and was tasered. He was then hit 56 times with batons and hospitalized. And so that was an example of police brutality. Now, was it um, uh, right for the police to pull over uh, Rodney King? Yes, it was. To put him in custody? Yes. But to actually hit him that many times and it be calm police ca police camera, um, that was uh, terrible. And it wasn't so much of the... Um, uh, beating that uh, people started uh, protesting and having riots, but it was that these police officers were acquitted of all trial of all charges, and so riots started to ensue in L.A. Uh, you would have tons of fire, and um, the um, gangs such as the Bloods and Crips would use this to settle scores to try to uh, shoot one another during the backdrop of these riots and protests. Um, the officers then uh, were indicted in federal court. Two were convicted and two were acquitted. Uh, you also have a famous uh, trial, the O.J. Simpson trial uh, in 1995. This is about a year-long trial. Um, uh, he was uh, convicted of uh, murder of ex-wife and friend. He was actually found not guilty. Uh, it was very controversial. Uh, the main uh, key that... Uh, got him um, not guilty uh, was if the glove doesn't fit you must acquit so when the prosecution put had OJ Simpson put his glove on um, it didn't fit and so uh, the glove that was found at the crime scene um, uh, didn't fit and so that piece of evidence um, was really what got him to um, be off of all charges However, he was then sued for wrongful death by uh, Nicole Brown Simpson's uh, family, um, and he would be found guilty of wrongful death. Uh, you'll also have the Columbine shooting, um, and this is really, for the last 20 years, uh, been this situation of um, young people in our schools, um, uh, police or uh, shootings, uh, school shootings have been an issue uh, that you all have um, had fear of, and so uh, this was kind of the first big school shooting that had happened. Uh, Fifteen uh, were killed, twenty-three were injured in Little 
Littleton, Colorado. Shooters Dylan Claybold and Eric Harris committed suicide after the massacre. Um, so it was a really tragic event, and a lot of people uh, started looking for hope and turning to Jesus Christ um, as a uh, source of hope uh, from this uh, terrible tragedy. Uh, you also have the 2000 election, uh, Bush versus Gore. Uh, this was an extremely close election, came down to Florida. So after Clinton was president, George W. Bush, who is George H.W. Bush's son, uh, would run against Bill Clinton's um, uh, vice president. And Bush would win when the Supreme Court stops uh, the recount of Florida. Um and says that uh, Bush won the election. And so this would be a very controversial election. However, um, it would go to George W. Bush to the Supreme Court. Um, you also have the age of terrorism, uh, issues with Al-Qaeda, World Trade Center. 1993, Al-Qaeda tries to blow up the Trade Center, World Trade Center. They are unsuccessful, but then uh, they will repeat the attack in uh, eight years, however, uh, it won't be with a van um, with a bomb. It'll be with um, four jets that they use, um, 747 passenger airplanes. Oklahoma City bombing, uh, Timothy McVeigh uh, was responsible for killing um, over 100 people. Um, that one was not um, uh, an outsider. That was a uh, white supremacist, somebody who was anti-government, and so they decided to blow up a uh, building in Oklahoma. A uh, really tragic situation. You'll also have the USS Cole that will be um, uh, targeted, as you can see in the middle picture there, uh, that big gaping hole. Uh, embassies in Kenya and Tanzania in 1998 will also be targeted, so you have a lot of terrorism that starts to ensue in the late 90s, uh, into 2000s. So that is it for our notes. Go ahead and submit this to Google Classroom.